how to reset forgotten password for your Windows 11 and Windows 10. You will learn this in today's video. Hello everyone, my name is Master and you are watching Tech Gyan Bandar. So in order to reset the password for Windows 11 or Windows 10, there is one, I won't say a kind of bug or something, it's just like Microsoft has not been uh, patching it for a longer period of time now. It was there with the Windows 10, now it is there with the Windows 11 as well. So let's say uh, there you have your Windows 11. Basically, I have created this in this uh, VMware. This is just a VM. So let's say there we are, and I have forgotten my password. I'm entering it, and it just doesn't work. Now, in this condition, how can you reset the password? And you do not even have any kind of online account attached to it. Nothing else here, so you could have reset the password. Let's see if I go here. It would ask me for my security questions, which I do not even remember. So how do I reset the password for this now? Best way here is you would need a bootable pen drive. So if you're using Windows 11, I'll recommend you to have the Windows 11 bootable pen drive. If you have Windows 10, so in those cases, you may have either Windows 11 or maybe Windows 10 both would work there so what you gotta do is first just shut your system down all right let's shut it down and after this you need to plug in your bootable pen drive so basically i already have the iso mounted up in here but you need the bootable pen drive okay now what you have to do is simply boot your machine up using the bootable pen drive okay let's power this on and we are going to boot from the ISO. So there we go. And it should look similar on your screen as well once you are booting it up from the pen drive. Now let's just wait for this to come up. There we go. All right, we got this. Now here you can hit the Shift and F10, which should bring this nice black command prompt. Now, first thing you gotta make sure here is that which one is your installation drive for your Windows itself, right? It does happen sometimes, like when you attach any pen drive or maybe some other bootable drive thing to your machine, it might change the drive letter for your OS installation. I have seen these things happening, so best practice would be to run this command first, that is bcd edit. Now what it does, it will give you the information about your boot configurations, right? Let's say you, there you go, boot loader or Windows boot manager. So here you can easily find out that, okay, your Windows is installed in partition C or it may be partition D for you or maybe some other partition, right? Depends on the scenario. Now we just simply need to navigate to our C drive or our Windows installation drive. Now here we can navigate to Windows system 32. There we go. Now there are two files what we have got to do something with. First is called utilman. So we are going to rename the utilman.exe to utilman.exe.old. All right, that's done. Now we are going to rename cmd.exe to utilman.exe. That's also done. That's it. Now you can simply restart your machine. There we go. And this time, let the machine boot up normally. You don't need to boot it from the pen drive anymore. It's booting up. Let's give it its time. There we go. Well, I'm just saying, this is just something from the VMware side, so. There we go. We have our Windows 11 booted up fine. Now, we still see this thing. If we enter the password, it will still not work. But what we have to do here now, just you see this little icon here. Just simply click on it. Once you click on it, this time it will bring up, like it will give you this uh, command prompt coming up, right? Earlier, if you would have clicked on this particular icon, it would have given you something else. But as we just renamed utilman to dot old and cmd to the utilman so basically when you click on this what it does it is directly calling that utilman.exe application there in the background right 
but since we have already changed our cmd to utilman so now the, the system is calling cmd.exe being under assumption that it is calling utilman.exe microsoft has not patched it yet that's their fault but good for us <laughs> all right so here what we need to type in is control user password 2 and enter it will give you something on your screen wait for a moment oh i got it it should be s it should be user passwords i guess yep there you go so here you can see your user account then you can see the button to reset the password now two things are there see either you can reset the password for this account itself if this is your own machine and you have forgot the password for your own account in case let's say you are logging on to someone else machine right you don't know their password but you still want to get into their machine being an admin and you want to access their files and do a whole lot of things but just be aware that they suggest for the educational purposes okay so they don't misuse of it so what you can do is to get into someone else's machine is here you see you got advanced passwords and all these kind of things you can get in here click on advanced get into user and here you can make a right click click on new user and you can give the name anything like you want let me go and do this like master pc maybe uh now let check basically this because i don't want to have any property set for the password so i can simply give the password here let's say i give it the password master pc at 2033 I'll put the same here. Master PC at 2033. We click on create. And that is done. So now you can see the master PC user has been created. Now what we need to do here is we need to add this user to admins group. Okay. If you do not do it, that simply means you are not going to become the admin for this machine. So you may not be able to access the files for other users who are there on this machine. In order to do that, you need to be the admin first. To do that, come to groups. You can see administrators here. Double click on it. And you can see this add button. Just simply click on add. Put the name of your newly created username, check names. And nope, we don't want this. We want master PC. Oh, but didn't find it I guess so I could put something in there check names nope not yet hmm, let me see what is wrong going on in here and master PC okay check names there we go we got it now click OK click apply okay that is done so now we have one user created with the name master PC we have added that user to the administrators group. We have reset the password as well for that. Now we can simply close this one. We can come back here. Now let's say, as I said, so if you need to reset the password for this current user, like for the master, just simply click on reset. Give the password. Uh, I'm giving the password here. Master PC at, let's say 2033. The same password what we gave for the other user there. and just click on ok click ok here and you can close this now first let's go ahead and try logging into this particular account with the newly reset password so there you go i have put the password and you can see the password and if we go here there you can see we are logged in and we will not lose any data it shows that we have changed the password and that's it now let's say if you want to switch the user right you can do that as well so you can see that the user is already coming up in here to switch master PC what we just created we click on it it will ask us for the password you put the password in here you see it that too oops 
2023 and you can see the password again the same I click on this and it will log in so you can see this is like a newly created account so definitely it is going to do some kind of configuration for your desktop environment and all and it will take its time for that and I think you will be good to go in few seconds I guess Hmm, that's taking a bit of time anyway so that's how basically you reset your forgotten password now this method works on Windows 11 on your Windows 10 as well maybe on Windows 8 as well I haven't tested it there but I believe it might be working for that as well so you can test it out method would be same and I don't want any of these to be checked click accept and there you go see we are logged in here with our newly created account and by the way we are admin so if you want to see what contents other user is having on their desktop or maybe on the other drives you can easily do that get into C drive get into users there you can see that user master get into here click continue and it will let you see what they have on their desktop or maybe on their folders whatever they have created there you go and if I go to desktop so if you remember on that user on desktop we had two files there you can see both are here so that's how you can easily access their data as well all right guys so that's all for now I hope you all have liked this video if you do so please go ahead and hit the like button below and subscribe this channel as well if you would like me to upload more contents like this all right thank you for watching bye for now take care all bye bye